Thank you very much indeed, Peter, and congratulations to you, Vera Powell, and your team of Tigers. You've made it to the World Cup Finals. How does that feel? I, I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. When the last whistle, I, I thought, how is this possible? I don't know. I don't know. Amber's, Amber's first touch made the game, and oh, preparation is everything, but I mean, the safe penalty of Courtney was not luck. We knew where it was coming. We trained it. We trained for everything. We were ready for every scenario. We were so ready. And then the way they executed it was not beautiful. And we need to work a lot. But I mean, the game plan was successful. You were always confident it. that your players could do it. You had absolute faith in them and you organized them to do it. The way they held out at the end there was remarkable. And I have to say, you make a substitution like that and it pays off like that. Incredible. It's amazing, missing so many players for injuries and then this commitment and this um, completely buying into the game plan and completely buying into the team and giving themselves for the team and for the country yeah, because that is what they did. And yeah, I think it's not that we were the better team on the pitch, but we were the most effective team and we just wanted it more, I think. That is what it was. What does it mean to you personally, Vera? You know, the Irish team and the Irish public have taken you to their hearts and, and to achieve this here in Scotland. It's remarkable. Yes. I want to say thank you to everybody who supported me through these difficult times. And um, I mean, my heart is all with the country and I wanted this so much, so much for everybody who not only supported me in an incredible way, but supported everybody. I'm, I'm so proud from from the FAI the board to our colleagues to everybody who's worked out the clubs, the coaches, the players in the clubs who were always there in the home base sessions. Um, and then the crowd and the little girls is just amazing. I, I, I have I, I have no words yet. I just I'm sorry. I'm, I can't believe it. Let's talk about that moment though. That goal that will inspire a nation of girls and boys and, yes. and has driven us to the World Cup. The pass from Denise, but what Amber Barrett had to do and how she did it. Yeah. As a coach, you look at that. You must be so pleased. And I mean, she promised me. She promised. She said, "When I get on, I'll make that goal." That's what she said. And that first touch made it all. It's just. Incredible the way that she finished it. Um, so proud, so proud, and yeah. You needed your bench through this campaign because you were missing so many important players that would have started. And then you look at Courtney and how she has come on and how she has improved yeah. and how she has helped bring you to the World Cup. Yeah, I mean, for, I don't know who's the player of the game, but to me, it's Courtney because she kept us in the game and she kept it all organized with all those tigers there. Who did it? Um, I think you should go and join your yeah. Tigers and Thank celebrate. You. Thank you so Thank much, you. Vera. Well done. Oh, Tony, you've supported us the whole way. And we want to send, give you a signed jersey if we would go to the World Cup. Oh, so we want you. to give this to you for all your support of RTE and everything that you've done oh, for you us. So much, Thank you so much, Vera. Amber Barrett is the Sky Ireland player of the match and Jerry McEnany, the president of the Football Association of Ireland, is to present her with the trophy and uh, that's a wonderful trophy for you to get but the gift you've given us all tonight, Amber, is that goal that brings Ireland to the World Cup Finals. How does it feel? Tony, you know I talk a lot but right now I don't have anything to say. That was the longest 20 minutes of my life, I won't lie to you, when that goal went in. I kept checking the clock every 30 seconds and it seemed like 10 seconds were going but I've said it a hundred times since the game finished. I do not know what we've just done. I cannot believe it. But seeing the people that have travelled here, seeing the people at home that are watching, the people that have turned out to watch all of our games, this is for every single one of them. This is for all the young kids growing up. Now they have something to dream for. And I'm so happy to be part of this team. And you're such a proud Donegal woman as well. And I know the tragedy in Cresla obviously affected you as it did the whole country. And you clearly dedicated your goal to those people that we lost tragically. Yeah, like I know Chrysler like the back of my hand. My both my grandparents were were Chrysler born and bred, and I spent my whole upbringing there down the summers and and Christmases. Now every year I go back from from football. I go to my uncle who's still living down in Chrysler. I know people that died in the tragedy. I know people who were affected by the tragedy. I know people who were f first on the scene of the tragedy, and I've not been able to put into words about it. I've, there's been like a somber somberness about me the last few days that I think. You know, this is the best day of my life in terms of what we've done for football, but 
you know, when you put it into perspective, like we don't scratch the surface of what happened over there on Friday and I'm just this this result, this game, that goal, this award, I'm dedicated it for those ten beautiful souls who unfortunately perished on Friday for all their families because I know they touched their lives. They certainly touched ours and this is for Crisa, this is for Donegal. This is Donegal! Beautifully put and, and so well said. Uh, and let's talk about the goal. I mean, a great pass from Denise, but was that pure instinct? To be honest with you, one thing I've always been taught, I've never really listened to it, only a handful of times, always take your first touch across the defender. And I think my first touch took me away. And after that there, to be honest with you, I did the old reliable, I just big toed it. And after that there, it went in <laughs> and there was no other style or skill going into it. I just put it into the corner and there was one thing going through my head when we were, I was running through was the keeper doesn't come off her line, so I couldn't chip her. So that ruled out the one thing I wanted to do, so I did the only thing I wanted to do then was score. You can talk for Ireland, you can also get Ireland to a World Cup Finals and you'll want to be on that plane next summer now, won't you? Well that's down to Vera now, if she wants to win the World Cup she better put me on the plane. <laughs> Congratulations, you're the player of the match, you're the woman who got us to the World Cup Finals, you've made history, well done. Thank you Tony and thank you for everything. Cheers. All right. Tony Brosnan, congratulations. How does it feel? Thank you. It's hard to put into words. It's absolutely amazing. I'm so proud of everyone and just so, so happy. Your performances throughout this campaign have been superb. You've got the player of the match several times. Tonight, when you stepped up to face that penalty, how did you feel? Yeah, I just, I knew what I needed to do and obviously do whatever I can to help the team. And today that was saving a penalty. So I just said, as soon as she was stepping up, I was like, this is mine. So I'm glad I was able to make the save and get us the win. Had you the homework done on what she was going <laughs> yes. to do? We've been working on it all week. So definitely well practiced. And that speaks to me of all the preparation that goes into your position to the entire squad and the work that goes in that we don't see. Yeah, a hundred percent. This whole team, this whole staff works so, so hard. It's unbelievable the amount of hours the staff puts in to help us and prepare us so it doesn't go unnoticed and obviously it helps us get these results that we need to to get the big wins. Have you been to Australia and New Zealand before? I've never been to Australia before. <laughs> 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 and are you looking forward to I'm it? I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> have, you, have you a family that have been watching tonight? Yes, my dad's in the crowd and tons of family watching back home so it feels amazing. Yeah, when you look back at this campaign and, and how good it's been for you yeah, I think personally it's been amazing and just been so nice to kind of cement myself and show what I know that I'm capable of and obviously help this team that means so much to me, all these girls. So it's been it's been an amazing campaign personally. The way the last campaign ended was so disappointing. That's all wiped away now. Yeah, 100%. I think obviously we knew at the end of that camp campaign that we never wanted to go through that again. So it was all about putting it right. And obviously we can see the growth and the maturity in the squad is unbelievable. So it's a massive step forward for us. Well done you and not just in your penalty save on the entire campaign <laughs> and congratulations once Thank again. Thank you very much I appreciate it. Cheers. These are just two of my favourite people. It happens to be the Ireland captain, Katie McCabe and Denise O'Sullivan, uh, Cork's finest. Congratulations to you both. How does it feel? I'm, I'm speechless. I'm just, yeah, I, I, it doesn't actually feel real to be honest. Um, I'm just so, so proud of the girls. Honestly we ran our Socks off tonight. Yeah, we did. This we one did. covered every inch of Hamden. Everybody was unbelievable. Courtney with the penalty save. Amber coming on, scoring the goal, and I can't say I woke up. <laughs> you are. Belief. We're going. We're going. Let's go. But you've had that belief throughout the campaign. I mean, you know, even up against teams like Sweden and Finland, who were ranked higher than you. And as the campaign went on, it seems that the belief got bigger. Yeah. Look. People might not like our style of play and the defending, but we love it. We love to defend. We're passionate about it. It's our identity, and we catch people or we catch teams out on the counter attack like we did tonight, and that's our strength. And yeah, look, it gets results. Um, we've been on a, a great run so far, and to, to come here, difficult place to come. Obviously, away from home, we had our travelling fans here. We, the back, like we were against it tonight, and we're the underdogs, and we always are, but we love it and. We get the result and prove people wrong and we're going to a World Cup now. We're proud, we're proud. You got seven goals, you got six in this campaign, but Just your <laughs> your <laughs> pass, your pass for Amber Barrett, that was made in Cork somewhere. Yeah, look, um, made in Ocknahini, boy! <laughs> we spoke about it beforehand. All we needed was one chance and we kind of wanted to counter. Um, 
I turned and the space was the space was wide open and played Amber through and it was a great finish from her. So um, very, it went very so slow into the net, honestly. <laughs> it did. trickled in. But I'm very proud and look, we have a lot of fans out here tonight, so we want to thank them and we're going to a World Cup. It's a, it's a dream come true for all of us, so thank you. And talk to me about the defending as well, because those last 20 minutes and then that six minutes out of time, it was... You know, we love it. We do. We, honestly, we're in control. We might not look in control, but we are in control. We could do it till the cows come home. That's a red light. Like, Diane putting her face in the way of the ball and Louise blocks and clears and we do it as I said, we, we love it, we enjoy it, we love defending and yeah, well, we're going to walk up mate, unbelievable. We're buzzing! Let's go! <laughs> this is going to change your life, you know that. It's going to change Ireland, women's football in Ireland, that's what we want to do, we want to inspire the next generation of kids in exactly. Ireland. We've we've been able, lucky enough to play with our idols. Emma Bourne is here tonight, Livia O'Toole is in the crowd over there. They've paved the way for us to be able to do this tonight and we want to be able to, to keep doing that and keep doing it for young girls in Ireland to play football, become professional footballers and represent a country at major tournaments. That's what it's all about, inspiring the next generation and we're, we're able to do that next year at the World Cup in Australia. Book your tickets!